Welcome to TCM with CM. In Chinese medicine, understanding the interaction between the 12 organs is very important. Lucky for us, the Huangdi Neijing Su Wen introduced the concept of the 12 officials, which assigns official roles to each organ, modeling the government of the time period and helping us to remember each organ's role in the body. In typical Qi CM fashion, let's use some cartoons to help you remember the names of the officials and their most important functions. The organs as officials are as follows. Lung, minister or chancellor. Large intestine, official of transportation. Stomach, official of the granaries. Spleen, official of the granaries. Heart, emperor or monarch. Small intestine, official of receiving. Urinary bladder, district official. Kidney, official of health. Pericardium, envoy, ambassador or resident. San Jiao, official of irrigation. Gallbladder, impartial justice. Liver, general. Let's begin with the lungs. The lungs are known as the Prime Minister. Notice how our lungs are wearing ministerial hats. As Prime Ministers, these lungs take their orders from the Emperor, but they are still senior members of the government and hence manage day-to-day -day activities. As such, the lungs are said to regulate all physiological activities in the body. The lungs open into the nose. We can think of physiology for this one. Usually, when people breathe, they breathe through their noses. Furthermore, we can say that the lungs control nasal mucus. The lungs govern qi and respiration. Our two lungs have brightly colored arrows reminding us that the lungs control the diffusing and descending of qi throughout the body. Imagine taking a breath in. Starting in our noses, the air enters into our bodies and then travels down and spreads out into the body. See how our two ministers are covered in body hair? Why do you think that is? Well, it's because the lungs control skin and hair, and particularly body hair, not hair on the head. Another way to remember this is to think of how the lungs are filled with cilia, which we can imagine to be the lungs' own version of little body hairs. The left minister is holding a water hose to remind us that the lungs are said to regulate the water passages. Look a little closer at the hose. It is filled with veins and arteries to help us remember that the lungs control the channels and blood vessels. And all of these activities can remind us that the lungs regulate all physiological activities and house the poor aka the corporeal soul, which is sort of the soul of the physical body. Finally, notice the sad expression on the minister's face. This is because the emotion of the lungs is grief. You might be thinking that there's a lot to remember about the lungs. And you'd be right. The lungs are a very important organ in Chinese medicine, and knowing its attributes will be really helpful to you. Luckily, not all of the organs are so complex. For instance, the lung's yin-yang pair, the large intestine, is where we are heading next. Let's take a look. All aboard! We leave the ministerial lungs for our next stop, large intestine. The large intestine is known as the official of transportation. It controls passage and conduction like an idyllic journey on an old-time locomotive. Our large intestine train conductor is granting passage to travelers. Notice that roll of toilet paper? And it's not just regular toilet paper, it's ultra absorbent. It may seem out of place, unless you already know that the large intestine has the function of transforming stool and reabsorbing fluid. This brings us to our next organ, the stomach. The stomach and spleen are unique in that they share the same office. Both are considered the official of the granaries. Meet Dr. R. Dr. R is a stomach. The stomach controls the descending of qi. Do you remember another organ that controls the descending of qi?
We named our stomach Dr. R, like the sound of a stomach digesting a good meal, because the stomach is in charge of the rotting and ripening of food. When you think of a stomach, what do you think of? After eating a big meal, we let the stomach go to work and digest our food. In this case, we'll describe that using the TCM terms, rotting and ripening. Notice how all the food is falling down into the stomach? Well, this is because the stomach has the function of receiving food. The stomach is Dr. R, descending, rotting and ripening, and receiving. The yin-yang pair of the stomach is the spleen. As we said before, the stomach and spleen share an office. They are both the official of the granaries. But there is a lot more to remember about the spleen. Don't worry, we'll try to make it as clear as possible. The stomach is about going down and descending, but the spleen, on the other hand, is about raising up and the ascending of qi. Whereas the stomach was a yang organ, a more masculine organ, the spleen is a yin organ, which are thought of as more feminine organs. Take a look at Miss Spleen's bright red lips. Well, they're here to remind us that the spleen opens into the mouth and manifests on the lips. While we're on this subject, it's a good time to mention that the spleen controls saliva. Miss Spleen is thinking about the world. Why? Well, because the spirit of the spleen is the E, also known as the intellect. Miss Spleen is pondering deep questions about the world, but the world here serves a second purpose too. The element of the spleen is the earth. Take a look at Miss Spleen's left arm. It's a limb and her arm is very muscular. Well, that's because the spleen controls the muscles and the four limbs. Notice how there are veins and arteries running into Miss Spleen? Well, that's because the spleen controls the blood and more specifically holds blood in the vessels. The spleen also governs transformation and transportation, often abbreviated as T and T. For this, look no further than our bag of grains. They are both a reminder of the TNT functions and that the spleen is the official of the granaries. Miss Spleen is very sweet. Sweet like a banana. She even kind of looks like a banana. This is useful for us. Bananas are yellow, and in TCM, yellow is the color of the earth element. Bananas are a food, and the spleen is the official of the granaries. This concludes part one of our Organs as Officials video. We hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to our channel for more TCM content.